Just yesterday, we honored our country's veterans, and today, one local veteran explains to NBC 15's Lauren Winfrey his hopes to see the accolades move beyond one day and into something more substantial. 68-year-old U.S. Navy veteran Peter Cannon is voicing concerns about voting and more specifically why veterans aren't allowed to vote using their veteran ID card in Wisconsin. So if we really value people's service, why don't we let the VA ID work? The goal of having voters show a photo ID at the polls is to verify they are who they say they are. But some government-issued IDs aren't permissible. The whole issue of, of having to show ID to vote, I find insulting. And I'm in my late 60s, and until recently for my entire life, if I said that I was Peter Cannon, everybody accepted that. In 2011, Governor Scott Walker signed a voter ID law that ultimately, Cannon feels, placed a burden on many veterans and their ability to vote. It's a government-issued ID, and for some people, it, it saves them going through a bunch of extra steps, so why not? The Second lack of ID. information available on a veteran's ID card ID may be the answer to Cannon's question. I think the, the rationale is that um, the, I don't believe there's an expiration date. There's just an issue date and no expiration date on them. Um, so I think that was, that was why that decision was made. The voter ID law, which has been at the center of controversy since it first passed, allows people to vote with their state-issued driver's license or ID card, some student IDs, an active military ID card or a passport. To this, Cannon responds. We should be making it as easy as possible to vote, not, not throwing obstacles in the way. Reporting in Madison, Lauren Winfrey, NBC 15 News. Governor Walker has called voter ID common sense reform, in his words, that makes it easy to vote and hard to cheat. Supporters say you can get a free state ID card. To help you do that, we do have a link in the news link section under NBC15.com.